Abus, one of the most important European manufacturers of indoor cranes, has built a completely new factory in Gummersbach. Crane systems and hoists from 80 kilograms to 120 tons lifting capacity are built here. Today, we are looking at surface treatment, as two Agtos shot blast machines are in use here. We visit the factory with two specialist editors who want to write a report on the blasting technology used here. Questions regarding project management also come from Agtos. Mr. Wirtz, how would you rate the project execution of both houses? We are standing here in front of a wire mesh conveyor shot blast machine. We also have a roller conveyor shot blast machine, which is more for the profiles. The project cooperation is very good. We are highly satisfied. This was already evident during the project planning phase, where both companies, Agtos and Abus, communicated and worked very well with each other. It was very pleasant to work with them. They listened to our constructive suggestions and we were able to achieve good solutions. Would you choose Agtos again for further investments? Certainly. If the products or the product portfolio remain the same, then you stay with Agtos. Thank you very much for the statement. The machines have some technical features that were particularly desired here. For example, the blasting machines stand on vibration insulation mats, which reduce the noise. Furthermore, these machines are equipped with a large touch panel type TP1500 to enable the workers to operate them clearly. For example, all status messages can be located in a 3D view. Swivel arms allow flexible positioning and thus optimum operation of the machines. In addition, it is very helpful in daily operation that the batches are recorded by barcode and the appropriate seal programs are started automatically. On the wire mesh conveyor shot blast machine installed here, flame cut parts for the trolleys are processed. After the blasting program has been set to the part category, the worker can place the cutout parts. Since ergonomics is a top priority at ABUS, a magnetic lifter helps with this work step. The deposit height is also ergonomically favorable. The wire mesh conveyor allows free placement. Alignment of the parts is not necessary. At the infeed gate, an automatic workpiece recognition system starts the abrasive supply to the four running Agtos high-performance turbines. Here at Abus, these are equipped with 11.0 kilowatt motors, thus achieving a throughput speed of up to 2.0 meters per minute. The program selected for the workpieces determines the transport speed and the amount of abrasive depending on the power consumption of the turbines. During a break, we can take a look inside the blasting chamber. In the direct working area of the turbines, we see the replaceable wear protection plates. To ensure that all surfaces of the workpieces are impacted, the high-performance turbines are arranged at staggered angles, above and below the conveyor belt. Since the impact from below is almost undiminished by the moving wire belt, there are no shadow edges under the workpieces. The wire belt is, of course, also made of wear-resistant steel. The airlocks on both sides of the blasting chamber are equipped with wear-resistant rubber curtains for sealing. This prevents the abrasive from escaping. After the blasting chamber, the workpieces now run through the blow-off device. The abrasive removed from the workpiece surfaces is returned to the circuit. This is followed by the discharge aisle. Here, the operator can remove the abrasive with a magnetic lifter.
the abrasive is kept in circulation for continuous use. Via a screw and bucket elevator, it reaches the cleaning station built on top. In a special air sifting system, dust and undersized particles are discharged from the cascading curtain of blasting media by an adjustable airflow. The necessary negative pressure is generated by the fan of the cartridge filter system. The filters installed here have an integrated fire detection system with a CO2 extinguishing device. From time to time, the level sensors in the blasting agent silo require refilling. The practical filling station allows this to be done by the SAC during operation. Mr. Dietrich, you were the head of the wire belt blasting system project at ABUS. Why did you decide on this type of system? Because we have relatively small products in the product line of electric wire rope hoists or monorail trolleys smaller than 1.2 meters. For these products, an additional grid has to be laid with conventional roller conveyor blasting systems. In the end, this creates a relatively high effort in handling and involves risks in terms of occupational safety. Maintenance is carried out with the support of a plan drawn up by ABUS, which simply and clearly shows the steps to be taken with a confirmation note from the workers. The intervals for cleaning, maintenance and servicing are illustrated in detail here. Blast cleaning is the optimal cleaning before welding. The good blasting result of the Actos system has its share in the perfect weld seams and the corresponding finish of the trolleys. Abus also uses an Actos roller conveyor blast machine for processing steel profiles. Profiles are placed on the infeed roller conveyor by the worker with a calibratable magnetic lifter. Here too, rust and protective coatings have to be removed so that perfect welds can be produced. This installation deviates from the standard. You can see this directly in these two beams that come out of the system. We have a split brush station in this system. This means that there are longer brushes on one side than on the other, which gives us the possibility to place the beams as they are delivered. This saves us the handling step of turning the beams. Then we have this enlarged maintenance platform on which the employee can carry out his daily maintenance and has good accessibility. Furthermore, we have a very large operating panel and a large simulated display of the system, where the maintenance staff can see directly in the event of a malfunction at which point the error occurs and can then react very quickly. Furthermore, we have a very well encapsulated system that emits little noise. We have dB values of less than 80, which is well below the norm. Of course, the perfect blasting result has to follow a technical specification. But everyone will agree that the metallic clean surface of these steel profiles has also become a delight to the eye. The dust-free beams can now be passed on to assembly and then to coating. This is how raw steel parts become cranes made in Gummersbach. <laughs>